uh, it's very rare to have uh, this mix of gentlemen here with us today. I had the privilege of meeting some of them over lunch, and I was really astonished by the kind of uh, background, the skills that they have. Um, so without further ado here, may I invite, first of all, Mr. Ranjan Sharma from Bestseller. Uh, Ranjan is a Vice President IT and Supply Chain Management at Bestseller. Okay, yeah. I, I think most of the good results we saw in Best uh, sell presentation earlier came from Ranjan. I'm quite sure of that. Okay, and then uh, if I may also invite uh, Ardin. Is Ardin here? Oh, Ardin's way at the back, yeah. Ardin is uh, the head of uh, visual merchandiser <laughs> from uh, Shopper Stop. Yeah. May I also call upon uh, Kiran? Kiran comes here. Kiran, Kiran is here. Kiran is a uh, head of IT at Celio. Celio is a French uh, label, French brand. Okay, may I also call upon Ranjit. Uh, uh, Ranjit is the head of technology for Infinity Retail, which is also probably known as Chroma. Yeah. May I also call upon Francois Gomez. Uh, Francois is heading the national sales and operation for Celio International. Uh, I do have to apologize on behalf of Dashana Shah uh, from Hyper City. Uh, she's not feeling well, uh, so she, she's not able uh, to join us today. Now, all these gentlemen are all from the uh, retail background. Uh, I myself, unfortunately, I'm not. I'm from technology background, even though I spent the last 20 years serving the retail industry, but I'm not working inside the industry. I serve the industry. So guys, in case I speak something that I don't make sense, uh, you know, look at me and say, that was good, that was deep, you know. So, so that will, that will kind of encourage me a little bit. <laughs> okay, we talked briefly about consumer experience. Now, if you, for the moment, do not look at yourself as a you know, retail professional, IT professional or visual merchandising professional, can you think of any fashion brands or retailers that you find are able to create a very exciting, engaging, and at the same time consistent, consistent consumer experience across all channels. Because some brands do well for one channel, not so well for the other channel. So just maintain a level of consistency across the uh, omni-channel. Can you think of any particular brands that comes in your mind? This question is open to all uh, the panelists, so feel free to jump in. Uh, we will obviously, at the end of it, we want to open up the floor for, for the audience as well. Anjit. Yeah, uh, <coughs> one, of the, one of the brands that immediately comes to mind is uh, uh, Apple. Right. So they they offer a, uh, I mean they are known for experience, right? Mm. Uh, and uh, they do offer fantastic ex experience in their stores. Uh, Apple Apple does not do a lot of sales uh, online, uh, but uh, they are very very uh, completely integrated between their online and offline channels. Uh, there is another uh, Australian uh, CDIT retailer, uh, Harvey Norman. Uh, they are they are they run a largely franchised operation, and despite uh, it being a franchised operation, uh, the integration and the c and the uh, consistent experience that the customers get across channels is uh, is fantastic. So these are two names that come to mind, mm. and both are in the categories that I work in. Wow, wonderful. Uh, <coughs> from my side, it's difficult yeah. to answer this question or to uh, bring some uh, uh, relevant uh, experience. But uh, what uh, I learned in, in India is um, there is to think uh, uh, from one side is uh, the non organized uh, retail, which is uh, the Kirana store, or for me, is the, the best experience that I had uh, so far where uh, there is no customer policy written on paper, there is no technology, but they bring a lot of things to me, and they remember me that uh, we are all a retailer. From the other side, my best experience is a French brand, is Decathlon in India. They have been consistent, I will say, in France, in uh, Spain, in Italy, and everywhere. And they have been able to bring the, their concept in India with uh, the concept of uh, a variety of uh, of product that you can uh, really wear, experiment, and uh, they have a playground outside where you, you can uh, really enjoy uh, uh, the experience of sport or fitness. And uh, this is good, it's great. They have been consistent. And uh, from the other side, you have also 
uh, something that uh, I really like uh, when I wake up in the morning is to go to uh, Starbucks is not fashion, but uh, I will say if you go uh, uh, in Italy, in Spain, in France, and uh, you wake up in the morning and you go uh, in Pova and you take some coffee, uh, you really feel uh, uh, you are uh, front of a good international retailer, and the execution, I will say, of uh, their uh, philosophy of uh, third place uh, is uh, uh, another place uh, that we can own by having a coffee is uh, is fantastic. And, uh, but I want also to uh, to uh, give a, a great merit of uh, uh, all those six million of Kirana store with that technology and. Uh, and uh, customer policy return on paper that they are very <laughs> able to uh, to provide a lot of services, but we can speak later on. <laughs> Thank you, Francois. Anyone else want to jump in on this question? I would think it yeah. would be Disney for me, uh, because Disney is a brand. They've just encompassed every kind of product category that kids can get around. And uh, if you know parents, they can't do without the kids being happy and smiling. And Disney's got into certain, such a niche, right, from product to presenting the store, presenting an experience in a theme park, right down to offering tours on a cruise ship. I mean, that's completely brand experience to you. Okay, wonderful. So if we now go back, if you put on your head back again as a, as a retailer right now, um, why is it important from a retail perspective to to think about consumer experience. Why is it not okay to say we, are, we produce good products today? You know, we have been successful for many years. We can, if we keep the same business model, make sure we do good products. Who really cares about consumer experience? What is your thought on that? Uh, just to answer this, yeah. uh, I think uh, in a country like India, the emotional touch uh, with the customer and the brand is very important. Uh, hello. Uh, in a country like India, emotional emotional relation between the customer and the brand is very important. Uh, matter, uh, what kind of business and what is the product you are dealing with or what is the service you are dealing, but the emotional uh, connect is very important. Just to take his case, uh, talking about the Disney, uh, people who go for uh, Disney parks, uh, uh, kids get excited if you know that a month before that we are going to Disney, uh, we are going to Disney, Disney, Disney. End of the day, when you go, you have to stand in front of the Disney for four or five hours of line and to get into it. But still that wow factor is created, that the emotional uh, uh, touch it has created is very important. But I think, yes, the, the product uh, cannot uh, define uh, uh, all about uh, customer experience. Uh, I heard this this morning about uh, uh, all about uh, customer experience, but we don't uh, really know what to put beyond or uh, how to translate what is customer experience. Uh, yes, the, the, the product play uh, an important role, but uh, we are dealing, as uh, Kiran said, with uh, emotion. And uh, I just want to, uh, and this morning we have seen one good video of uh, Dubai, uh, uh, Dubai Mall or Dubai Country. Uh, the fact that uh, without any digital, uh, I will say, mall of India, a uh, mall of uh, uh, Dubai, bring more than 60 million visitors. But uh, why? Because uh, uh, we don't look uh, for, uh, I will say, a polo a shirt, but we look for some uh, emotion uh, we expect from retailer to bring us some something totally different uh, beyond the, the the customer policy beyond the everything but uh, to make uh, uh, us uh, i will say uh, free of uh, everything to go to the food court uh, beautiful food court to go to uh, uh, to buy something to uh, uh, i mean uh, customer ex experience is not only the product, it's a concept, as you said, it's a visual merchandising, it's a way of people treat us uh, as a customer myself, um, and uh, the way of they consider us. Uh, I mean, everybody says uh, I have a database of uh, one million of uh, customers, but uh, do they uh, really know uh, us uh, uh, or myself? Uh, who I am and uh, how I want them to uh, to treat me. But this is totally different. There is a. It looks like a, there is a marathon somewhere. We are all running about. Uh, I know my customer, but 
I really don't know that, uh, I'm not really sure that all retailer knows very well uh, their customer, even myself. I don't really know if I know very well Starbucks, very well. <laughs> if I know very well uh, Decathlon, uh, very well. But uh, there is a, uh, some exchange of uh, emotion, information, we trust or we don't trust, but we want the brand to be uh, maybe consistent beyond uh, the product. I mean, it's, uh, right. Okay. Not a retailer, just like a customer. Uh, First thing is we should have the uh, wow factor or uh, the uh, the either the product or service which you are buying from any retailer. Uh, you should have that uh, uh, emotional uh, experience, the customer experience, what you call, and it should be memorable. Uh, that makes the uh, experience uh, uh, which can make the customer come back again. Mm. Thank you, Ranjan. Yeah, so I think it's uh, I completely agree with whatever they've said. In fact, uh, because customer experience cannot be delivered just by the product. Product is just one of the component. There are many more things that the customer is actually looking out for. The price is not just the only thing that the customer is looking out for. The, the moment he walks into a store or the moment he thinks about buying a product, from that, uh, that entire journey of being able to buy and again go back to the same store, rebuy, that's the experience that the customer is actually keeping him. That's, that's the connect that he's looking for. Just giving a simple example, now if I've put up a great store, I've put up a great product, good visual merchandising, if I don't have the right people in the store who can actually help the customer buy, because today, remember, in fashion at least we are not selling. We are helping the customer to buy. We are, we are, uh, we are, we are going to engage him with him to make him understand what looks good on him. And if he's, he's willing to buy that, there needs to be somebody who can actually help him rather than selling him. So one example that uh, we've done uh, in our stores is we don't have salespeople. We have fashion consultants in our store. Why we call them fashion consultants? Because we say there's no notion of selling. There's somebody who could consult you, guide you, help you to buy what fits into what should be in your wardrobe, what should make up your complete wardrobe. So I think these little things will actually make up th for the complete experience rather than just individual components like a product or, or maybe a marketing or a store. So the overall experience is what matters to the customer. And if you deliver that overall experience, I'm sure the customer is also willing to pay you more. I like this uh, fashion consultant idea because a lot of people struggle about how to mix up the pieces, right? What color to go with, what location, etc. Again, uh, still, sorry, yeah. go ahead. I just want to add one more example. Uh, just let's take a simple example of a haircut. Uh, you'll be, you can get a haircut from a small salon uh, in neighborhood uh, street for 20 rupees, 50 bucks, whatever. But uh, there are some uh, good branded salons where you go, you will be charging almost 10 times or 20 times of what you pay. But what you get there is, there will be uh, people who guide you what kind of uh, cut suit you or what kind of hair is yours, which, uh, what cream to apply. So that all are the experience which make memorable and it makes a, uh, what to say, a relation with the particular brand and we keep uh, repeating going there. Mm. So this is one of the example how uh, it take a copy of Starbucks. You can get a copy of just uh, one tenth of the cost of uh, Starbucks outside. But what Starbucks makes a difference is they create that experience. And as you presented, it's first is a home and the second is a business place. It, it, it holds good in our life. Whenever we wanted to have any informal meeting, we first go to a Starbucks, sit there, just have a meeting.